What is God besides external meaning? Um, I think that, in my opinion, that's pretty much what God is. An external meaning. A meaning that we find outside or beyond ourselves. Um, and I think that that's pretty much what Nietzsche meant when, in the gay science, he said, God is dead. Quote, do we hear nothing as yet of the noise of the grave diggers who are burying God? Do we smell nothing as yet of the divine decomposition? Gods too decompose. God is dead. God remains dead. And we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves, the murderers of all murderers? What was holiest and mightiest of all that the world has yet owned has bled to death under our knives. Who will wipe this blood off us? What water is there for us to clean ourselves? What festivals of atonement? What sacred games shall we have to invent? Is not the greatness of this deed too great for us? Must we ourselves not become gods simply to appear worthy of it? There has never been a greater deed, and whoever is born after us, for the sake of this deed he will belong to a higher history than all history hitherto. Like I said in my video yesterday, I get the distinct impression from Nietzsche that, as you know, sort of the old stereo, the old uh, saw about I buried my wife and danced on our grave. The madman buried God and danced on his grave. Um, buried external meaning. Buried the need even for a meaning outside of ourselves. A meaning that is to be handed to us. Not a meaning that we ourselves sit down and craft. We're alone in um, a truly Sophian sense. But does that aloneness have to kill us? Can it also set us free? Um, in uh, the Shawshank Redemption, um, a, a fellow uh, was uh, wrongly convicted and tossed into prison. Sort of, one could say that it's uh, that's a metaphor for birth. We didn't ask to be here. We didn't do anything to warrant being here. We were just thrown in here in this world. And the movie deals with an issue... Um, institutionalization, getting used to being in prison and actually starting to like your prison uh, the um, or like being in prison and a fellow by the name of Brooks uh, is released after serving a very long time, he's been institutionalized um, he's made some sort of meaning of being in prison and when he's released he is robbed of his meaning. God is dead, and he has nowhere else to go. He must die. Um, even he realizes this, because he relies upon the walls around him. That's what they said in uh, that conversation between um, the main character and Morgan Freeman's character. You get institutionalized and pretty soon you start to rely on these damn walls. Once those walls are gone, fear. <laughs> um, well, the movie, I think, can't escape the idea, the Christian idea of hope and redemption. Um, I think that the movie kind of fails, but, you know, it is selling the idea of conventional um, ways of dealing with uh, the frustrations and the horrors of life. Hope. Well, I don't subscribe to that point of view, but I understand the way that it's phrased. It's almost as though um, Brooks was one of the prisoners who was tossed out into the light, and he couldn't handle it, and he committed suicide. Zap these cavemen again. Um, well, Nietzsche says, There has never been a greater deed, and whoever is born after us, for the sake of this deed, he will belong to a higher history 
than all history hitherto. Um, the fact that we've killed God forces us to make our own meaning. And it forces us to craft our own purpose. It forces us to um, swim or sink. <laughs> and to some, that is lethal. To some, that is simply asking too much. They need those walls. <laughs> um, that's, of course, why the madman and... Uh, the gay science doesn't understand or isn't is misunderstood by everybody they want those walls there thank you very much they're quite happy down in Plato's cave he alone sees that there's a place other than the cave and of course that's why he's a madman he's only a madman judged by everybody else as understood by everybody else kind of makes you reassess your view of insanity <laughs> in a way as a pathological state um, because what is sanity in this context? Um, I don't really know how we can reconcile this, and I think that it's inevitably what um, inevitably what you have to do is to sort of come up with some version of the herd or the non-herd to make sense of this. The herd is institutionalized and needs those walls and will die without them. Other people are non-institutionalized and can't be institutionalized and seem to require something else. Um, it's interesting that uh, the uh, the uh, character of Brooks is released from prison and uh, of course um, um, what's his face there, Tim Robbins, Andy Dufresne's character escapes from prison. <laughs> um, he escapes because he wants to escape. He escapes because he's not institutionalized. He escapes because the, those walls haven't um, given him meaning. They continue to oppress him. He must break out. He is not of the herd. He hasn't learned to make the best of being in prison. Um, what would you say about a person like that? And, and remember, this is I'm not talking about actually being in prison. I'm talking about being in perhaps Plato's cave. Um, Shawshank, the prison, is just a metaphor for that in a certain reading of the story. Um, what are we to do? How are we to fundamentally reconcile this? Again, I said uh, a lot of people that I come across, again, giving them the benefit of the doubt, uh, and Choran seems to be one of them, with a somewhat democratic, egalitarian uh, bias, I guess, or it looks that way to me, which Zafi seems to have as well, um, says that one truth applies to everyone. There is only one truth. There is only one way to see the universe. There is only one explanation for all of this. Um, there is no actual dis difference between the herd and those who are outside of it. There is no lone wolf. There is no steppenwolf, to use Hermann Hesse's term. Um, whereas perhaps it comes easily to someone as arrogant as I am but I my mind seems to militate against that view I've attempted to institutionalize myself many times in life and in certain ways I am overtly institutionalized I have a job and a family and a house in the suburbs kind of a tumble down working class suburb but it's still the suburbs <laughs> Um, but I can't take it all as seriously as everyone else seems to take it. Um, I think that the view that God is dead, or that meaning is dead, or that external meaning is dead, does not scare me. Um, it strikes me that the line, there has never been a greater deed, a 
and whoever is born after us for the sake of this deed, he will belong to a higher history than all history hitherto. Um, it's good to get out of the cave for some of us. I understand that it's toxic for many, and that some people get out of the cave and are horrified by what they see outside of it. How do we evaluate those who are outside of the cave and feel free and wonderful? Um, do they have some sort of moral obligation to go back and assist everyone in the cave? I don't think so. Um, what are we to make of them? Does the fact that there are people who fundamentally see the universe in a completely different manner make these people heretics or kaffirs or something? I don't think so, obviously. Um, but the issue to me is, how do we reconcile such people with the herd? I don't really have an answer to that. <laughs>